my lovelies, it's your girl, and today, I, as of 1 something a.m., fuck man, I only know it's 1 a.m., I am now 23 years old, which, um, uh, fuck man, I'm getting old, <laughs> I'm getting old as shit, I don't know how I feel about this, I had a, um, I had a holy shit, I'm old moment while looking at, uh, while listening to some old songs, um, that I was just like, wow, like, I remember when the song came out, and I look how old it is, I'm like, holy shit, like, wow, this is weird. Um, but yeah, so I thought that since I didn't make a vlog yesterday, I wanted to actually tell some April Fool stories that also relate to my birthday. Uh, <laughs> these are stories that I basically get told every fucking year, so it's like burned into my brain. And no, I was not even alive for the- well- it's okay, so here's how this, here's how the first story goes. So the first story is well, let me give you a quick backstory. So um, for my parents, uh, I am an only child, and they basically been trying to have a child for a long time before I came around, uh, and so they basically called me a miracle baby because it was like they didn't think I would be born and all that stuff. Uh, so that's why we take you know birthdays and stuff very seriously for my family and all that jazz. Um, so that in mind, when it, it was April 1st, 1996, and, um, that night my mom basically, uh, got, started going to labor. It was in the hospital and all that stuff. And she thought I was going to be an April Fool's baby. So, you know, that happens and nope, mm -mm, it was not. I basically made my mom stay in the hospital all night and then uh, early until early the next morning around 1 a.m. and then there I was. So that was my very first April Fool's prank on my mom. <laughs> Basically making her think that I was gonna be born the day before but then being like, <laughs> fuck no, I'm gonna be born on April 2nd. Uh, so that's the first one. And the second one was, uh, so after that or before that, I can't remember, I, I don't remember the continuity of all this happening. This, All this happened just like, again, I wasn't part of any of this. I, I was just born. <laughs> Uh, apparently, my dad called my godmother, who is my mom's best friend, and told her that that they had twins, which my godmother flipped the fuck out. She was, like, freaking out. She was being like, what? Why didn't I know about this? And, of course, then my dad's like, April Fool's, and if you could kill somebody over the phone, from what I have heard, if you could kill somebody over the phone, she would have killed my dad. Like, she was just that, she was freaking out that much. Um, which is funny because um, my family, my, at least my mom's side, has a whole thing where um, somebody from every other generation will have twins. So uh, my mom's generation did not have twins, but the generation before hers had twins. Um, and so now it's my generation that's supposed to have twins, uh, which is kind of funny. And, um, well... I, thankfully, I'm the youngest in my generation, so hopefully it's not me. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. But it, it was just really funny, just how, from from what I have heard, it was just, just my dad was just the worst person. Instead of just being like, yeah, no, we had a girl, just being like, yeah, no, we had twins. Uh, um, but then it, it, there's still more. There's still more for this, for all this. So apparently, I was uh, born on a weekday. I want to say. And, hold on, I have to actually pull up on my computer this. Uh, my, my cousin reminds me of this all the fucking time. Um, like, around, like, around my birthday. It's the, mm, it's so funny. Um, hold up, hold up, I promise. It's good, it's good. Uh, in the meantime, in the meantime, um, I went to uh, one of my cousin's weddings. Um, my, when I was 21, I was 21, this was my first time hanging out with my, or going out, uh, drinking with my cousins, because they invited me to the after party, and so we're all there, it's like me, um, one of the bridesmaids, who's my cut like me and two of my cousins, and I think someone else, I want to say the bride, might be someone else, um, we're all just like kind of hanging around drinking, talking, and one of my cousins, the, the second youngest one, who was the baby before me, just broke down crying, and she was like, you were such a miracle to the family. We were so happy. I was just 
thing to be like, I didn't ask for this today. I'm like, what's happening? Where is it? Uh, okay, so here's exactly here's exactly what my what my cousin sent me, uh, and she reminds me of this every year. So she's like, I will never forget sitting in my uh, and sitting in my social studies class and them announcing your birth over the loudspeaker when you were born, and I'm like, how small was your school? <laughs> <laughs> it's just I just always find that really funny because I'm just sitting there being like why first off why second off just like and the worst part is we live states apart she's in um I think we're about two or th I'm trying to remember maps right now about two states apart right now actually always we've always lived two states apart so I'm just sitting there being like why why was this a thing like it wasn't that important i'm just a person like i was just a person like it's only important to like my 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 fam my especially my mom's side of the family um but just the family in general uh so yeah and that was th that is the two april fool's pranks that me and my dad got to pull uh basically on my birth which is <sighs> i uh which, um, last thing, I don't know, I, I'm just re remembering all these stories right now, um, from, like, that revolve around this day and, like, yesterday. Uh, final other thing is I'm cursed. And let me tell you why. Every April 2nd, since I was born, not since I was born, since I was five, it has rained. It has rained at some point in the day since I was five. And I thought I was ex gonna escape it today, but no, but no, I have not yet. I'm, nope, mm-mm, I'm still waiting for that day where it does not rain on my birthday. <laughs> but yeah, so that's, that's, that's my, it's my few uh, birthday stories for me being 23 that I remember and it's weird. Thank y'all for, being a part of this channel with me, of being part of this journey, um, I, I honestly hope that I can get into a better state where I can do more um, involved YouTube videos, more fan fiction readings, definitely more like consistently. Uh, go back to doing more like compilations or like sketches and whatnot. I want to do all that stuff again. So hopefully, hopefully I will be able to do that again but thank y'all and um yeah hope y'all enjoy your day and um yee. i don't know how to end this <laughs> all right bye my lovelies